back to my channel. Today I am going to help you improve your English pronunciation a little bit more and to help you understand how to spell certain words and why they are spelt in this way anyway. Yes, it's all sounding very mysterious, but I promise it's not too complex. So as you may see from the title of this video, we are looking at words with silent letters. There are a lot of words in English with silent letters. So you may look at a word, you may think, huh, I know how to say that. It is like this, but actually you're pronouncing something that you shouldn't be pronouncing. So it can be really, really difficult to guess when a letter is silent. And in English, we have a lot of words like this. So it can be very frustrating and very confusing. We are going to discuss 15 words that have silent letters. These are 15 words that I think are pretty common and pretty useful for you. You're going to know how to spell them and how to pronounce them. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So the knee, the knee. So this is a part of the body. Do you know which part of the body it is? In the middle of your leg, where your leg bends, that is your knee. So in English, we spell this word, as you can see, with a K at the beginning, but we do not pronounce the K. So it is knee. Ni. Who is your favorite character in a TV series? As you can see in this word, there is a H, but we don't pronounce this H. So if we just take that out, actually that's more like how the word should sound. Character, character. Number three, it's the piece of paper that you are given every time you do your shopping. At the end of your purchase, you take a receipt. Receipt. Now, as you can see, this word is spelt with a P just before the end of it. Why? Well, there's a reason for it, but let's not focus too much on that. Let's just remember that it's spelt with a P, but we don't pronounce it. Receipt. Design. Design. Yes, design has a G in it. <laughs> if we actually pronounce this word how it's spelled, it would probably be design, but obviously that doesn't sound very good. So we don't pronounce the G and it becomes design. I'm sure right now that you are in a country where you are in lockdown due to the coronavirus. I think the majority of people right now in lockdown are dreaming of flying away to an island. Today I said, oh, I wish that I was at the beach. Island is spelt with an S after the I. So this would sound really strange if we pronounced it, it would be Island. <laughs> and that doesn't really sound very good. So we don't pronounce the S, we just say Island. It's something that I do every single day. It's something I'm doing right now with you. Talk. Talk. So talk, as you can see, has an L. Actually, in English, we do kind of pronounce this. It should be talk, talk. But it's really, really difficult to say this. And when we are speaking fast or when we're speaking very naturally, we're not going to overpronounce this word. We're not going to overpronounce any of our words, really. So we actually end up saying talk. So it sounds more like it's spelled T. O R K talk. The L is there, but it's just really difficult. So we just say talk. What am I doing when I do this sound? I am whistling. So whistle, whistle. It's a strange word, this one, whistle. We don't really pronounce the H, so we, we, no H there. And then the second part of the word, whistle, soul. Well, we don't really pronounce the T either. We do pronounce the L, but as if the L is at the end of the word. So this word is just spelled very, very strangely compared to how we say it. Whistle, listen, listen. So listening is exactly what you're doing right now. You're listening to me talk. But as you can hear, there's no T sound when I say this word, listen, listen. But in the actual word, when we spell it, there is a T after the S, but we don't pronounce it. So we don't say listen because that just doesn't sound right at all. We just say, Listen, it's many people's favorite time of the year. If you live in the East or if you live in somewhere else where your country is not primarily Christian or Catholic, then you're probably not going to celebrate this time, but I'm sure that you do know what it is. 
Christmas. Christmas. In this word, there is a T. But we don't pronounce this T. We just say Christmas. Christmas. Altogether, it is Christmas. This word can be difficult even for native English speakers. So I want you to guess which letter in this word is not pronounced. Can you guess? No? Yes? Well, it's actually the B, just before the T. If we pronounce this word with the B, we have doubt. And that is really, really hard to say, doubt. We don't say doubt, we say doubt, doubt. So it is quite strange that there's a B in this word that we don't pronounce, but this is just how it is spelt. Don't forget to put that B in when you write it, but when you say it, don't pronounce it. Just say doubt. What is this? This is my thumb, thumb. So although it's spelt like it should be pronounced thumb, which is, I admit, very difficult to say. It's not thumb, it's thumb, just thumb. So remember to put your tongue out a little bit when you say th, so at the beginning of the word, thumb, thumb. You see how my tongue comes out just a little bit? That will help you to pronounce the th in thumb. Climb, climb. Climbing is when you go up some things, maybe you're climbing the ladders or maybe you're climbing the stairs. But yes, climb is spelt with a B at the end, but we don't really pronounce this letter. We say climb, climb. So it's a silent B. How old are you? What's your age? Age. There's an E at the end that we don't pronounce. And actually the word is spelt very differently to how it sounds when we say it. This is because the word comes from French, but let's not go too deep into why it's spelt that way. We say it age, age. I've covered this word a few times in the other videos that I've done on my channel. This word, <laughs> this word is difficult because there are syllables in it that we don't actually use or pronounce, which can make it kind of difficult when we're learning how to say it. So this is a day of the week. So we have Monday, Tuesday, and then we have Wednesday. Wednesday. This word is quite long and there's a D in the middle. Actually, if we pronounce this word how it's spelt, it would be Wednesday. Wednesday. I think that's actually how we used to pronounce it, but it became too much to say. So we ended up making the word a lot shorter and a lot easier to say, and we ended up saying Wednesday. Wednesday. So it sounds like there's a Z in there too. Wens. Wednesday. Wens. Day. So we've taken this D-N-E-S in the middle of the word and we've made it a lot easier to say Wednesday. Wednesday. And our last word. Now, if you are a good looking man or if you are a girl who has seen a good looking man, you may use this word handsome handsome. So handsome describes a man who is very beautiful, very good looking, very hot. As you can hear, we don't pronounce the D in this word. We don't say handsome, handsome, because it's really hard to say quickly. Handsome, handsome. Actually, the correct way to say it is like that. It is with the D, but in natural spoken English, we do not over pronounce things. It's, it's too much effort, it's too much work, and it's difficult. So we end up saying something that's a little bit more simple. And for this word, we say handsome handsome. So guys, I'm so sorry that there are so many words in English where they have silent letters because it means that it's harder for you to spell, it's harder for you to pronounce and yeah, I, I understand. It's very, very difficult. So that's why I am here to help you. So this is the first video about words with silent letters, but there is a second video to come as well for you. So you're going to become an expert in words with silent letters. You'll never pronounce them wrongly again and you'll have an amazing clear accent as well. So don't be discouraged 
just keep going. And remember, we have to practice our English every single day to train our mouth and our tongue to be able to pronounce these words and to really start to think in English rather than translate. Every single day, we take one step towards fluency in English. We just have to keep going. We have to keep motivated and we have to keep practicing. I hope this has helped you out and I hope that I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys so much for listening and I'll see you in the next video.